Hey everybody, welcome back to the Final Fantasy VII Let's Play. I gotta admit, Midgar's a hell of a lot smarter than I thought. Ah, fresh air. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the Mako and the pollution is getting the isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I know, it really is. <laughs> look, look at the darkened ground beneath the surface of the city. <laughs> anyway. That's pretty much the whole threat to Shenra right there when you think about it. They're just gonna keep sucking up resources. Yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll like start that. with Midgar and then it'll slowly spread across the entire continent. So uh, we're gonna take some time here to encounter some of our sweepers here. Uh, because, uh, well, two things. One, we can get something for Barrett here, and that's the atomic scissors, and I believe, yeah, there we go. Lucky that is, you. Yeah, that, that, is a, that is a close-range weapon for Barrett, so when you equip that, make sure you put Barrett back in the front row, uh, because uh, close-range weapons don't give a flying shit about that sort of thing. Unless you go for the long-range material from the Mythical Mines, in which case, hey, who gives a shit? I always give that to Cloud, though. For specific boss battles, though, not entirely, like, all the time. And I... we'll, we'll be encountering those guys later down the road after our comp sequence, because there's also an enemy skill we can learn from them, too. Yeah, the match or magic. Yeah. Which is only which is the epitome of early magic skill. At the same time, it is a pretty good early game magic skill. Yeah. Uh, and it's helpful for limit grinding. I don't remember. That's what I used it for, too. Uh, I believe its accuracy is not 100%, though, because no, there are is. times where I... Sh is it? Because there are times where I I swear the, the, the hit ratio is a little weird. For Matro Magic? I never been Yeah, for Matro Magic, when I'm doing limit grinding in the, the Junin Forest... That might be if you're furious. Because uh, if you're furious, yeah. as I said before, fury can cause spells to miss. I'm trying to remember if... I, I can't Get remember if here. I'm... Uh, if, I, if I'm always in furious status when I'm doing limit grind, most likely I am because whatever I'm building the limits faster. Right. Uh, so yeah, like that could be it. I didn't really think about that. What you call it? This town's the first place you can get earth magic and heal magic. Earth is good for you know anything that's not flying. Uh, heal magic gives you poisona. I don't know why. Asuna, yeah, which know. is really fucking good, and resist, which basically gives you ribbon status so long as your character is alive for the time. Yeah. Yeah, but I I never understood. Why, why branch off? Why poison it? Like, why not just start with Essena? Right. Cause, uh, ten, 10 did, and that's why it was great. Yeah. I was like, oh, we can, we can get rid of poison. How often you're going to get hit with but, that? And, and that's it. Woo. Great stuff there, Bob. <laughs> also, you get some new weapons here for everybody, but they're pretty much Mithril named. Cloud, uh, Cloud, Aerith, and um, Barrett should all have. <laughs> Let it go, Elliot. <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> keep going. Keep going. Keep going. I was gonna. I wasn't gonna say anything either. But what were what? you saying? You, you said cloud. I did say cloud. Yeah, oh, you, sorry. Yeah, you kind of had work. a stroke in the middle of it. Sorry about that. <laughs> no, no, it's cool. That's why. Cloud, I like Barrett, and Eris should all have better equipment at this point. Uh, Tifa may be the only one you want to get something for, but even then, she's got something coming next in the next dungeon. Yeah, that's why I don't bother. Meanwhile, flashback. Flashback time. This is going to be the next two parts of this playthrough, by the way. The the Nibelheim flashback sequence. Where Cloud is going into detail about his previous encounter with Sephiroth. I, I like Final Fantasy so. <laughs> I do too. Is the remake out yet? It's not out yet. Man. Fuck! How many more days? Two months. Two months. Ow. At the time of this recording. Two months from today, actually. Yeah. Is it? I yeah, today's the 10th. It's February 10th as of today. But February only has 28 days. <laughs> so, uh, I would say, uh, f f f fuck you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah fuck this man. I don't want to be a part of you making fun of me. To my who, the fuck to, who the fuck this Who asked you? Oh, uh, you did, actually. <laughs> uh, no, hey, man, shout out to the truck driver out there, man. That, that, that rain is coming down hard for that shit to be covering the windshield in a split second's notice. You got to make those windshield wipers go faster. Yeah, no, seriously. So thus far, what we're learning here is basically that there was a war between us and some other nation. We later learned that's Wu Tai. Irrelevant now because that's all in the background except yeah. for Crisis Core. So now this ultimately, we're now at the point where they're going to take care of a monster incident at Nibelheim. Yeah, apparently something's happening with the Mako, react Mako reactor over there. So uh, no Cloud, is, uh, Cloud is uh, flashbacking towards that that fateful day. And uh, apparently, uh, Nibelheim is going through a bit of a monster infestation because of the reactor bullshit. They're and by the way, don't you hate it when your truck drives into a fucking dragon? Yeah. <laughs> 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 cool. you, mean, you see how hard the rain was coming down? You couldn't have seen the son of a bitch. Anyway, this here is just to pretty much stroke Suffer all Seago and give Cloud a dirt nap. This is a good way of, though, demonstrating how powerful he can be at this right. point in time. You know, he's completely invincible. Uh, to every enemy attack, which you know it's not for story purposes, because otherwise it'd be funny as shit if Sephiroth could lose battles. <laughs> exactly. That, I was would, actually, be our, I was, I was that actually, would be our monster. I was actually kind of hoping we see the results screen after that battle. No, no, <laughs> you, you'll never see the results screen for this one. Yeah, you can still check the. Uh, you can still go into the menu and uh, check Sephiroth statuses, and of course they're obnoxiously high. He also has a tough ring by default. 
You're not getting that till this No, day. and he also has Masamune that, only, Masamune that only he can use, and he has a lot of fucking magic materia. Right, the only thing Cloud has is the preemptive materia, which you're not getting either unless you're, unless you're good at speed square. Yeah, I was like, what happened to the preemptive materia? Cloud, I think you're making that flashback up. <laughs> <laughs> I sold it for gas money. <laughs> How do you think I afforded the ticket into Sector 7, Tifa? Oh, yeah. You must have had a little bit of change. Yeah, I got myself an energy bar. <laughs> <laughs> it was delicious. Notice Sephiroth's facing... What Dark Sephiroth is facing for later, kitties. Anyway. This is Nivelheim. What a dump. Thanks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's a whole lot of little tidbit shit you could do here, which gives me the idea that Cloud has the, the world's worst focus when it comes to telling his own story. Yeah, it really is. You know, this place looks like shit. I lived here. It, <laughs> yeah, it looks like shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a nice shithole. <laughs> I mean, on the... Oh, I just noticed the Shinra truck is a... The, a model of the Shinra truck is right there on the right side. That's how holding, they get out. Holding barrels. Is that how they get out? Yeah, they get on the back of a Shinra truck. Uh, I was... Well, no, they, they hitchhike. Oh. Uh, for, from one dude. Maybe that's his truck. <laughs> I'm going to need you to hide in the barrels, because I also got to make my shipment. Are you part of the cartel? <laughs> that's not a damn headless... I think he's going to say, yo, hold on a minute. Is that a Shinra truck in your flashback? <laughs> It's like, don't interrupt me, bear. <laughs> don't interrupt me, bear. <laughs> yeah, seriously, man. What's wrong with you? Shut the fuck up, bear. <laughs> Oops, the childhood friends reunite. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> is the town is quiet. Everybody maybe must know their cell Too quiet. No, maybe they're afraid of us. No, dude, it's definitely the monster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, fuck, we call fought a dragon on the way over here. Did you see that shit? If I knew that was roaming around the damn town, I would have been inside my house, too. Or a case of humanity for Sephiroth, or at least just, you know, hey, you can visit your family and friends. That's something I, I, I wish the game spent a little more time on. That I'm, that I'm glad, like, other games, or Crisis, Crisis Core, Core specifically, uh, did, where we get a little, 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 learn a little more about Sephiroth before he went nuts. Because to me, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> uh, to me, in the context of the original game, like even when you put more pieces together from everything you you uh, you get from the the game as a whole, uh, Sephiroth's turn to evil still is a little sudden. No, the guy just goes batshit bonkers. He really does t doesn't. T it really can go just bad for you, just like in the step in the twirl of a finger. Well, f this is just a matter of personal preference. I would have liked a little more time uh, spent on. I get how Sephiroth I get how fast somebody can go nuts though. Yeah, and then it really isn't sort of like that. He snaps up at the man. He snaps up there, and then it's like implied over a day or two. Sephiroth just keeps going further into insanity. Yeah, because someone leaves him alone in the mansion with all those books. Yeah, it's really one of the most hilarious takes of supervillain story ever. <laughs> Your guy is actually just some some deluded goofball with who learned the wrong fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> he looked at WebMD too much. I mean, exactly. Like, insane with power. Exactly. No, he looked at WebMD and thought didn't know who his real mother was. So he went, <laughs> "Fuck it, I guess it's gonna be the space creature." Guys, I am the chosen one. WebMD says so. <laughs> that or I have cancer. <laughs> it's called geostigma nowadays. Oh, I'm sorry. Cloud, did you go in my house? Uh, I rated your geo number. cancer. <laughs> Why did you go in my house? I wanted to see if you were home. <laughs> I was raining your Clearly there was no one here. But fuck it, I'm already here. Let's see how far <laughs> this goes. Imagine him trying to tell this story in a flashback. <laughs> the funniest of everybody else. So there I am in Tifa's house, and I raid her underwear drawer. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. And the line's Unless. like, tell me more. <laughs> I imagine... I like imagine God, did you go into my room? What is my fucking visual memory being presented for showcase here? <laughs> How do you know this shit? And he puts it... He stole it. Yeah, no. I'm just kidding. Don't get mad. Um, we're talking about something really important here. Ooh, underwear's your, important. Your underwear's important. Do you actually keep the underwear? <laughs> okay, so uh, in this sequence here, you want to choose Yeah, I Jammed on it, because this will actually, for some reason or another, cause an elemental material to appear in the piano uh, for the second disc. You have to choose what Yeah, I Jammed on it. What the fuck? Yeah. You, yeah, you can play the piano. Only in a Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. It's like, I better this than that fucking asshole piano puzzle in 10-2. All right, so uh, a bit of a fun fact here. I was tempted to make a Megalovania edit, <laughs> but you can't hit the right notes to make those four chords. How about Moonlight Sonata? Oh, fuck you. <laughs> oh, I didn't think about that. I should have tried that, too. Well, no, because we're going to visit the piano later, and uh, we, we use that to get like a bit of backstory with Tifa. That's way later down the road, though, and you have to play the high wind theme, I believe. Well, just the main theme of Final Fantasy VII. Right. Don't worry about your family. 
Uh, yeah, it's, it's my mom. My dad got eaten by a dragon. I'm going to assume so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> Looked just like the one Sephiroth cut. I didn't see it, though. I was unconscious. Did you did you see her, ever see your father again in about three days? Oh, exactly. <laughs> Another thing that I'm hoping Remake clarifies a bit. Even more though it's not more of Cloud's family life. Yeah, more of, his, more of his mother, maybe a little detail on his father. Because his father is just straight up not a thing in this story. And as far as we care, he's dead. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, sometimes it depends yeah, because on Because RPG what protagonists are not allowed to have a healthy he, set he, of he died. He, he died from non-existence. <laughs> He didn't make the cut, <laughs> but the but the mother is a thing in this story. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, just a warrior war type. Yeah, just a warrior war type. And well, even then, we only to some extent because as we'll see in this flashback, Cloud's memory of this is very fucking hazy. That's why all the white flashes are there, right? Uh, and we can't really say for sure how much Cloud remembers his last encounter with his mother, if he met her at all. No, I think he did. That's why he's seeing this. He had to invent his mother, otherwise you wouldn't even get this. You'd just get white flashes. No, but you can always retain memories of previous encounters and piece up together a bullshit story for the sake of telling one. That it may, but I don't think that's the case here. I think, honestly, Cloud did really meet his mother. I like to think not because of how generic the conversation is. The conversation is absolutely... Like, what would my mother ask me if I was gone for a while? The conversation is generic, but that doesn't mean the conversation didn't happen. I it's like very to- generic, but it is... Again, this is the kind of shit you can be talking about, especially when we get mothers with older no, see, sons. To me, with the amount of flashbacks we're having right now, I'm thinking he never met. He never went back to go see his mother. I think he did. It's just a matter of, you know, he's not. Because the still way. Because one there. thing that, um, again, we're jumping way uh, right across here uh, in, like, spoiler territory. One big thing that Cloud suffers from after, uh, like, recovery his memories is that he was really embarrassed that he never made first class. He never made soldier, for period. I thought you were going to say he had PTSD. You know, he was a basic yeah, shit. He should have had PTSD. Yeah, he does have PTSD. Uh, That's he, what uh, I think. Oh, yeah. No, he does. He just, he should have does. Uh, he was really embarrassed that he never got to soldier first class and that he was basically relegated to basic Shinra grunt with a regular uniform and he didn't want anyone to see him like that. So in my opinion, opinion by the way, I'm not saying it's true, he never wanted to go see anybody and he was especially embarrassed to see Tifa because... You know, he made that talk with her. It's like, like I'm going to be a soldier, first class. I'm, like, I'm going to be like Sephiroth. And then he comes back, and they're like, oh, I'm actually just a run-of-the-mill basic Shinra bitch. It's so like, I can't let anybody see me Okay, like quick question. If Zangin dies, does that mean we could search for our deck for that's a 1,500 Sang- or less Sangin. monster? That's Zangin. <laughs> this is Zangin. <laughs> Unless he's a Triclops, and we don't yeah, see it with, with the um, <laughs> limited hey. edition. Hi, Sefi. What the fuck? <laughs> Do not call me Sefi. Oh, is that, uh, Sefi, he Cloud. just shanks him with the snap move in the back. Don't call me that again. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. I'm not your father either. We're short one bed. What are you talking about? There's three of us. <laughs> one, two. <laughs> oh, Sephiroth likes two of them. What? Yeah, we never learned anything about that other Shinra grunt that's with us. He just dies early. He, he's wearing a red shirt. Oh, Underneath fuck. his uniform. He becomes a material keeper. <laughs> well, this shit, plot twist. <laughs> No, he does. I like to imagine that's what happened to him. He just got he just got mutated by the fucking um area. He fell in the Mako reactor. He became or he became another experiment to Shinra, and then bam, he's a material keeper today. Maybe he was the guy in the Mako reactor. Yeah. Nah, so I, oh, I, I'm just I'm just making shit up as we go along. But it's well, like, yeah, but like it, I said, but not, not everything has to be tied to the story. Not everything. No, has it to does be not. But it, no, it does not. For all we know, the material keeper is just some random ass monster that took a residence. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I'm just time. talking about the. the I like uh, to imagine. The, I just like the. I'm just talking about the Shinra dude. Yeah, I'm th- that's what I'm talking about. The Shinra yeah. guy. He was captured by Shinra. He ended up getting experimented on in the Mako. Well, he was captured by Shinra. Keeper. He works for Shinra. No, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know who else worked for Shinra? Cloud. You know who else worked for Shinra? I'm talking about the nameless should regret that's with us that that dies as soon as the bridge collapses. Jim. Yeah, he becomes a material keeper. We'll call him Jim. We'll call him Jim. He tries to leave Shinra. He the company doesn't allow him because he knows too much. Especially if we're going to the Nibelheim incident, then he become, then he gets experimented on. Then he's a material keeper. Nah, he just dies. I know. After the bridge. <laughs> but fucking hell, I want to see the name. The name was one. The name was one is called Jim. We'll call the other one Alex. I guess. I like clap for that name. <laughs> <laughs> Say cheese. Wait, why do you have the flash on? It's broad daylight. <laughs> <laughs> Mount Nipple. Holy fuck, this is a treacherous as shit looking mountain. <laughs> how, how is anyone supposed to climb this? You don't. That's why the bridge is there. The cold mountain air of Mount Nipple was the same. It doesn't change much in seven years either. Five years. Five years. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. No, no. Okay, no, no, wait. Hold on a second. What was the time gap between Cloud leaving Nibbleheim, becoming a center soldier, and coming back? Can't remember. 
Neither can I. He was 16 at the time of this flashback. 16, by the way. <laughs> he was a soldier. He probably lied about his age. No, no. Well, it's plausible. I mean, pause, plausible. Uh, but for the sake of the story, to no, I'm thinking that he like he, he legitimately was 16 years old. No, what I mean is like he could have lied about his age so that he could join a soldier. Well, no, you have to be a Shinra grunt. Before. The way I always look is that you have to be a Shinra grunt before you even consider going to soldier. You just don't go to soldier immediately. Like you have to climb your ranks. Uh, so that means he was like what, fifteen, being a Shinra grunt? No, no, no. Well, he's sixteen. Yeah. At the time of the flashback, which means yeah, I mean they take soldiers pretty early. I mean, what's the earliest you can enlist in the army here? Eighteen. No, uh, seventeen. You can come right out of high school. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> There's no time to search for him. You can, ah! you can go to war at 17. but I mean, that's the joke that Chris Rocks makes all the time. You can go to war at 17, but you can't have a drink at 21. So I mean, yeah. Source from our liquor material. <laughs> <laughs> this is a weird tract of place. Oh, underneath the rotting pizza? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's good. It's just I don't like it here. What would you prefer? Out of curiosity. That's, an, that's a good point. I don't have a second piece, but at the same time, this feels a little too industrial to be a flashback piece like this. Probably uh, the Mako Reactor theme, considering that's what we're close. We're close by to one. And this place is obviously Shinra that. territory. And here we'll see Sephiroth mastered all materia. Yeah. I love Ice 3 too, because it's just like a bunch of icicle spikes for nothing, and the next thing you know, Ice burn. It just explodes. Yeah, I know. I was like, ooh, look at the pretty show. And then you punch them while they're distracted. Jesus, <laughs> Se Jesus Christ, Sephiroth. Save for them experience for me. Fuck. <laughs> no, a Cloud's reaping the rewards. Actually, no, he's not, but... You know, but no, no Sephiroth's that over -party, overpowered dude for that party that you take advantage of while he's on the party and grind for a little bit. You know, it's like in Pokemon Gen 5, when you have the buddy for you in the dungeon runs that automatically heal you after every battle. Fuck, that means I'm grinding while you're here for a bit because I don't have to waste money on potions. I'm thinking Gen 4. Gen 5. Gen 5 had it. I remember Gen 4 having it. I don't remember Gen 5. No, Gen 5 had it. All right. Like I said, I just don't remember. This is a Mako Fountain. <laughs> Very good, Tifa. If you look on your left, you can see the Mako Fountain. Ooh. And if you look on the right, you can see the dragon eating the remaining Shinra guy. Sephiroth <laughs> takes out of wood camera. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a Polaroid thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to take some while to develop. <laughs> so we actually get a bit of backstory here for uh, Materia uh, in the context of the story. Basically, Materia is condensed Mako energy. And... Through that, and this is kind of uh, this is a little weird because I don't exactly get the correlation. Even though uh, Mako energy is energy from the planet, and by condensing it into the orbs that we're familiar with, it allows us to link ourselves to the knowledge of the ancients of that planet, and that's which, what allows, which allows us to use magic. Except then Sephiroth gets told that Hojo said that's preposterous. Yeah, Ew. and then we learn who Hojo is, and we're like, really? That's beyond you. But it's also, but it's like, this is also where I tell Hojo to just straight up eat a dick. All right. Listen, if this green orb allows me to shoot fire and you can clearly see it happening, I mean, it's working, all right? That's just a, that's just an orb propelled flamethrower. Oh, okay. Shut up. Whatever, Hojo. <laughs> Would you be interested in participating in an experiment? Shut up. <laughs> Don't you have a date tonight with this Lucretia girl or some of the shit? Ouch. <laughs> Oh, I have. Oh, the older I've got, the less sympathy I have for Vincent as a whole. He just basically carried a printer materia for a girlfriend who ended up getting boned by Hojo. My favorite character in Smash is Yikes. <laughs> you wait here. Fuck you. <laughs> I want to see him, motherfucker. Where'd you get the hat? <laughs> I you always had that. I like how that's, I'm that's something we get for like the, the remake, like alternate costumes. Oh, I would love that. I would, I would fucking die for that. I would love the cowboy outfit. I also wanted to be able to keep Cloud's dress outfit going on in the, into the end game. Oh, that'd be Barrett great. would just laugh at him that'd every time fantastic. he sees it. Yeah. That'd be great. I like, think everybody needs an alternate costume of some variety or some capacity. Hey, oh, there he is. Fuck I, I make that mistake every fucking time I play yeah. it. Straight through the pipe, hoping to get the chain. Oh, I gotta go, oh, the, I gotta go the other way. <laughs> hey, uh, Sephiroth, hey, why don't we have a ladder for this? Huh? Shut up. You guys tell me what we're doing here? Huh? You guys tell me what we're doing here? Huh? 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 Shut up, puppet. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, Geneva. Yeah, I wonder if Genova's here. The Genova Conventions. You got the label <laughs> on top of the door and the pipe on the left that has Genova. <laughs> the Nibble miss Missile Crisis. <laughs> the Nibble Missile Crisis. 
This is the reason for the malfunction. The part's broken. <laughs> How is that relevant? Cloud, you do it. <laughs> That's basically what he tells him to do. Well, hey, you got a second set of hands, and you don't have to do it. It's yeah. less work on you. Also, there's something there's something adorable about like Sephiroth hopping to see inside <laughs> the bob because there's no stepping stools in this room. Oh, well, there's that, and he's really short. Yeah. No, he's actually pretty tall. He's he? tall like, compared he's to Cloud. On, yeah, like, but this is I'm talking about in comparison to the pod. No, that's, that's what I mean. Is like you would think that uh, if Sephiroth is above average height, then everybody else would at least need a stepping stool to comfortably peek inside to see how everything's going. I have another question. Like how imagine people, Hojo just jumping on top of there. How many people do you think Sephiroth cut with his sword when it's in his sheath? Or rather, when it's on his back. <laughs> when it's on his back. Yeah, like in other words, do you think like he turns around and then yeah, he don't immediately turn around and shake my hand. <laughs> he, he's one of those anime sword fighters where he just pulls it out and then puts it right back in without <laughs> taking it, uh, taking out the entire sword. And fuck, it's a kuma. <laughs> oh yikes! What is that thing? Um, I'll put this to you. Hojo's got some real fucking fun <laughs> ideas. When a Hojo and a Shinra soldier meet together for the <laughs> first time, Hojo gets Hojo's eye Hojo's eyes widen. <laughs> he gets a really creepy fucking smile, and shit goes wrong. Are they gonna make a rhyme? He he gives us a weird smile, and shit goes wild. <laughs> So, so meanwhile, Sephiroth just decides to go batshit bonkers he over there. He has a bit of an existential crisis here because Sephiroth goes to proceeds to tell us that what well, we're looking inside here. Well, he, goes, he he tells us how soldiers are usually made. Because soldiers not only have the privilege of being of the upper echelon, but they're also infused with Mako energy to make them superhuman in a way. Fuck. Right. Uh, steroids. Hojo just overdoes it. Yeah, yeah that's one way to look at it. Steroids. Yeah. Uh, Hojo. Uh, but this, Ancient it, steroids. Inside this chamber, this, Hojo's taking it a step beyond. He's not only infusing... He's infusing Mako energy to soldiers to a much higher degree, and right. it's just making them monsters. Pretty much. Sephiroth gets the idea that he's one of them, that too. he's one of them, too. But I was like, Sephiroth, but... I mean, that's look actually at, surprisingly creepy. I mean, still look at you, life. and look at him. I think you made out okay. <laughs> you know, you got to stop. You were you were literally the lucky one. Yeah, it was like you know, one in a million, man. Count your blessings. <laughs> yeah, but at the same time, Sephiroth doesn't like the idea of that to begin with. Yeah, he doesn't like the idea that like, what if I was like created this way, or at least infused this? Do way I because, become this way? Yeah, like who's say like yeah, you know, there's a lot of questions that I imagine that are flooding through his mind because he doesn't know he doesn't process it. Uh, he can't. He can't figure out the big questions. Why is something called Genova that my mother is named after locked behind this? What is Hojo all doing? And is the Seven remake out yet? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, we're going to do the uh, flashback uh, next time because yeah, we've got a bit more to go here, and we'll see how things unfold next time. I really wish this had a skip scene function. <laughs> <laughs>